just get this all set up and sorted. So, um, uh, Anastasia uh, emailed me and asked for a bit of help planning some timetables. Now, this isn't something that I normally do, mainly because I'm very busy and I've got 20 billion other things to do all of the time, but um, I wasn't busy today, so I thought I would do it. And I thought I'd do it live so you can see the process of doing it, so you can see um, all the different things that need to be taken into account when we do a timetable, um, uh, so that uh, you can see how the thinking goes. So I made some little notes. Um, so really, really sensible idea to have Sunday as a reboot day, is busy most of Saturday. So the very first thing we are going to do is to block out time where nothing can be scheduled in. So what I'm going to do is just block out all of Sunday. If you can hear uh, scratching, that is pretty much trying to get in through the door. She cannot be in here at the moment because uh, she's a pest, basically. And um, she tries to knock my tripods over. So this is reboot day. So this is my key down here. So Sunday we're going to be rebooting on other things. So um, this, what I'm going to plan here is kind of like a general overall timetable. You can use this because in my pad there's like 50, um, as a template and then go through and then fill in individual things as you need to. Um, so that fits in there quite nicely. So we have piano for 20 minutes a day, home about 3.13. So what I'm going to do down here is put in the times that we're going to be using for revision. Um, get home from school about 3.30, so realistically we're going to start about 4 o'clock after the whole putting bags down and away and getting shoes off etc etc and we're just going to do a short session to uh, 4.25 in there, then we're going to have a 5 minute break. We're going to go from 4.30 to, uh, no we're not, 4.30 to five o'clock and then we're going to have a uh, like a 10 minute break 15 minute break in there so we're going to go from 5 15 to 5 45 we're going to have another break because anastasia hasn't put on here what time she has dinner but i'm going to assume that she does eat in the evening so we do need to do that so i'm going to pop that gap in there so we're going to start again at 6 30 and we're going to go to 6 55. Now I'm not going to put too much other stuff on here um, because we do need to have some time for like relaxing and reading and important things like that. But I'm just going to put 7 to 7.45 on there. You shouldn't be going too much later than that um, in the evening so we've got kind of like an hour there, we've got an hour so you've got like two, three hours worth of work each evening. Now the subjects that we have to cover are, oh you can't really see that colour very well at all. Let me do it back in pink again. More things in pink. Biology, chemistry, English language, English literature, maths, Physics, RS, and Spanish. So this down here is just a subject tracker, so you can check that you are spending an even um, amount of time on each subject, um, that uh, things are fair, and you're not spending too much time on other things. Priority subjects are going to be biology, chemistry and maths is super super priority subjects so biology and chemistry um because that's what she'll be doing next year as long as core maths and it'll be nicer if the grade was up a little bit in maths so we're a little bit further away from the boundary so maths is super priority with biology and chemistry also being priorities so 
we are going to schedule in mm, 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 right let's put maths first thing on a monday and if you notice um on my website yesterday i released kind of like a gcse maths revision timetable to give you kind of like advice on what to do each day now we're not going to do math at the same time each day because well that's quite a lot of maths so we're going to do a little bit of maths each day now what i didn't put in is that we can't do very much on a friday because she doesn't get home till 4 15 so let's block off that bit of a friday and honestly nobody wants to be working that late on a friday so we're also going to block off this bit here so this is when we're not going to be working but we are going to put in a longer math session here and a longer math session here so we're going to already say we've got one math session two math sessions three and four math sessions so we've got quite a lot of maths on the board already which may not be everyone's favorite place to start off but it is important to do this now our next priority subjects are going to be biology and chemistry so let's pop oh no my pen well that's a rubbish pen biology in here so that's one biology and then another biology over here so that's two biologies and then we're going to put biology over on um saturday saturday evening because she spends a lot of quite a lot of saturday volunteering we don't want to do too much but a bit of biology i always find is nice and relaxing Right, then we need to have our chemistry. So we're gonna do a longer chemistry session. Um, and then a little chemistry session. And then we're gonna pop chem on Friday. Right, uh, what color next? Green. Right, so English language and English literature. It is good to practice doing longer things of English. So we're going to put English language down there, and then we're going to put an English language up there. We're only putting two in, so you can see it is not an even distribution of subjects that I'm putting in here. It is a range of subjects, there are different things going on, um, because some subjects are more important than other subjects. You don't have to spend the same amount of time revising every single subject. I have loads of pens over there, which is where they're coming from. Right, English literature. So over here we've got maths, and then we put a bit of English literature in there. And English literature in there. And do the next colour. Right, so we're now going to put in some um, piano practice because it is really good that um, what we can get this in. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. Dotting it around all over the place. P piano. Um, because it's good to mix things up. P P so we've got a piano practice in all of the time right so what have we got next we've got physics so physics not a priority subject because we're not doing it next year but we still need to do it so we're going to try and block out two spaces for physics i'm going to pop it in here because it's going to go after english language before biology and it's a bit of a bit of a change from everything physics and then another bit of physics over here Right. other subjects that we've got are rs so over here on a saturday i don't want to like, overload to saturday too much because um uh she's volunteering all day on a saturday so i'm just going to put a bit of spanish on here 
This is good because it can be stuff like flashcards, which can easily be done in breaks, or it can be done kind of like on the bus, on the way to or from volunteering, on the car on the way to or from volunteering. So it doesn't have to be like really hard, intense, sitting down planning stuff. So I'm gonna put flashcards. So this can just be like vocab, mental uh, translations and stuff like that, Spanish. And then I'm going to put it over here as well because we've got quite a heavy day with biology, math and English language, Spanish. Spanish and then what have we got? RS left. Oh no, what have I done? Right, made a horrible mistake here because I've got two spots for RS left and they're both next to each other. So I'm going to put RS in down there and then I'm going to switch RS and Spanish over so that we're doing RS in this bit and Spanish in this bit. Um, so you don't want to do too long on one subject. It needs to be kind of like uh, nice and spread out, not doing too much time just on one thing so that um, we're, we're spreading things out. We're putting multiple different skills on different days. So you can see here we go from English to physics to biology to piano to math. So lots of different things going on. Sunday is left free for kind of like the, the reboot, whatever um, tests are coming up next week or whatever other things are coming up next week. We've got more maths and other subjects, which may not be fun, but it is a high priority subject because uh, she's doing it next year. We want to keep going with that. And then we can have um, things that we enjoy throughout it. So piano, so we can pop this in our Havoc Trap her. Piano, reading books is always good, um, not just because I love books, they're generally much better than the films, but um, you need to get used to doing it for the exam. So even in kind of like English, um, you, um, you not, not just in English, but even in kind of like biology, you need to um, read blocks of text and be able to understand them. So just reading in general is really good practice for the exams and it's really relaxing. So um, she can mark off here, times when things actually get done. Mood tracker, so you can decide how your day was. And then this isn't a fixed timetable. Like in this pad, there are 50 odd of these and you can just copy it from week to week if you want to and if you decide that actually Monday is a little bit too heavy and what you need is a bit more of a break on Monday because it's first day back of school and you want to move one of these Monday sessions to Friday because actually you, you've you got mental space on Friday to do stuff that's absolutely fine move it around if you feel like it doesn't work for you so if you notice that Mondays are always always bad days have a look at why Mondays are always bad days is it because of the really heavy set of subjects that you've got that day um, and actually you need a bit of an easier evening on a Monday you don't want to have so much time they move some of these spaces around these blue spaces here are breaks time off we've also left a whole chunk of time down here where something else could be added in and having this idea of a sunday is a reboot day where you can just pick up stuff that you need to do for the next week so if you've got extra homework or you've got a test coming up that's brilliant um in here you can pop down all the different tests that you've got coming up or if there's anything else that you need to do anything else that you need to um learn or remember or if you've got here like taking your peek kit taking your like food tech stuff um or anything else like that and then this bit here is perfectly spaced for you to scribble and doodle things on too um so there you go anastasia i hope that was uh helpful for you um i'll take a picture of this and then i'll send it to you um but if anybody else wants me to do something like this then um, get in contact and I can do it. Now that I've worked out how to get all the camera angles and everything set up, which took like about an hour, um, this is actually pretty fun for me to do. So I would do that. Right, I'm just gonna move my head around here like this so you can see. Oh, Miss Woody, we won't be doing physics next year. No, just for this timetable here, that's who won't be doing physics next year. Um, so yeah guys, that is um, the timetable that I planned. Here is another one that I did earlier. So you can see that um, this person again wanted Friday um, afternoon off. We put in some little like 
I don't know what to call these sessions. These are kind of like flexible sessions where you, if you've got kind of like um, uh, a maths test coming up and you need extra maths, then pop it in there. Or if you've got tutors booked in, you know at particular times, then block off that time and do something low key like flashcards afterwards and then um, have a, a relatively early evening. But here we're only studying from five through to eight with breaks in so I'm not saying you have to spend hours and hours studying every single night this is like three hours including break time so getting stuff sorted it is actually a huge amount of time that we're doing every single evening now obviously because the times on here aren't fixed it can be like flexible it can change for the holidays you don't just have to do from five to eight in the holidays you can change it up and then change it up from when you're arising and then put over here at the weekend i'll put a longer break in and also at the weekend i put for this person i've put a double session in um so that's is has plan study planner how to do it um yeah guys let me know if anybody else wants any extra help or if anybody else wants me to um like do you one of these for you um and um just just for the end of the year there is 25 percent off on my website at the moment if you wanted to buy a pad of these 50 in them and obviously i don't expect to be studying for 50 weeks of the year because that would be insane um yeah guys so that that was that was it let me know what you guys think.